Oh goodness, my sweet boy Oakley has developed a hot spot and now that I've put cream on it, I need to make sure that he does not lick it off and make this a thousand times worse. I know that this is going to be something inevitable for my other dogs at some point, so I bought three sizes of the inflatable donut collar, but these ones are a little bit different than the ones I've seen. Here I have them labeled just so you can see the sizes I got. I'm going to attach the link in the description so you can see the other sizes they have plus the measurements. What I love about these inflatable ones is that you don't have to blow this up by mouth. That kills my jaw and I also don't even want to think about who else had put their mouth on these things. So of course this is a thousand times easier if you're using two hands, but here is a demo of basically how you puff them up. Something else that's great about these is that they have zippers. You can take it off and wash the fabric. Something else is that you can actually tuck your dog's collar inside it and clip their collar shut. And then the inflatable donut also has a clip. So it's double secure. And assuming you have the collar tight enough and you have the buckle tight enough on the donut, they shouldn't be able to get it off. This is my boy Babu modeling the size large. If my vet recommends a cone, I'm going to do the cone, but I prefer the donut for at least when I'm supervising. Keep in mind when you're sizing this for your dogs that their nose has to be on the inside of the barrier. If their nose reaches the outside of the cone or the barrier, they can reach a lot of the areas. This is my little guy, Howdy. He is about five to seven pounds, and you can see that this size small is perfect for him. If you don't need that plastic barrier, you can actually zip it and unzip it, but be smart about it because I took it off for a split second and Oakley could instantly reach his front leg. So be smart and careful about when you take it on and off. The fact that he can play with toys while he wears this makes it so much better than having a cone because they're kind of prisoners to the cone. At least with this on, he can still play and enjoy some toys. Do I dare say that he even looks comfortable sleeping in this? He's got his little therapy dog, Elaine, to help him get through these times. But to me, this inflatable donut is almost like a strap-on pillow for him. Don't forget that I put the link to these in the description of this video. If you're not sure what sizes or measurements, always run it by your vet first. Thanks so much for coming and we'll see you next time.